Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about production of yogurt, right? So actually, what is yogurt? Yogurt is a dairy product which is produced by the bacterial fermentation of a milk. And this yogurt consists of such type of nutrients which are mainly required for the body growth. Okay, so if you see in the picture, this is called as a yogurt, which is available in every type of supermarket. So now let us see how the production of the yogurt will be done in the industries. So what are the microorganisms which are mainly required for the production of this yogurt? Lactobacillus as well as streptococci. So these are the uh, streptococcus. These are the normal bacterium or as normal microorganisms which are mainly required for the production of this yogurt. So how this yogurt can be prepared by using this lactobacillus as well as the streptococci. So normally this is the fermentation is a process where we are going to apply for the production of the yogurt. So there will be a fermentation tanks in the industries and by using that fermentation tanks we are going to produce this yogurt. So now what is a, a raw product which is mainly required for the production of this yogurt? Milk. Without milk, there is no production of the yogurt, right? So what is the actual, what is the actual theme of the fermentation where it mainly helps in converting the primary metabolites to the secondary metabolites. So this is the main aim of the fermentation. So if you want to know more about the fermentation as well as the nutrient media, which is mainly required for the fermentation, I already explained a video and I have uploaded it and the link will be given in the description box. So people, if you want to watch that fermentation video, you can watch it. And here, so here in this, in this video, you have to remember only one thing. That's that. But the primary metabolites will get converted to the secondary metabolites by using the nutrient medium which will be supplied in the fermentation tank. So this process is called as a fermentation. And now coming to the production of the yogurt, here also we are going to apply the fermentation technique. And here the raw product which we are going to use is called as milk. So I have said you the primary metabolite will get converted to the secondary metabolite, right? So here the primary metabolite is nothing but the milk. And the secondary metabolite is a product which are going to obtain from the fermentation and that product is nothing but the yogurt. So this yogurt is called as a secondary metabolite. So what is a primary metabolite? The milk which are going to use is called as a primary metabolite and the product which will be going to obtain from the fermentation is called a secondary metabolite and here the secondary metabolite is yogurt. Right? So this is the one important thing which you people have to remember. And now let us see the process, how the process will be done for the production of this yogurt. And firstly, you are going to take the milk and you are going to stabilize the milk. So how you are going to stabilize the milk? Firstly, you are going to add dry milk to this milk. And then what you are going to do is that then you are going to also add the stabilizers. And once you add the stabilizers, then the milk will get stabilized. Okay. And that stabilized milk will be used for the further process. So what you are going to do with this stabilized milk. So now the milk got stabilized, right? So now we are going to do the pasteurization. So actually what is pasteurization and why it is used actually? So the pasteurization is used for uh, three processes in such a way that it mainly helps in killing the microorganisms which are present in that. Okay. It is mainly used. I mean the microorganisms, nothing but the harmful microorganisms which are present in that particular milk will get killed, right? So that's only the reason we are going to do the pasteurization. Actually, pasteurization is a technique where we are going to apply heat and the heat should be applied in the form of a temperature with the temperature of 85 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and 95 degrees celsius for 10 minutes okay either you can apply low temperature for more time or as high temperature for low time right and now what is the main reason we are doing this pasteurization because uh, to kill the microorganisms this is the first reason and coming to the second reason is that denaturation of the proteins denaturation of the proteins okay where the you know if, if the proteins are in the form of quaternary structure then they will be denatured to form the primary structures or a secondary structures like that that's called as the denaturation of the proteins and another reason is that proteins can form stable gel right i mean the gel like structure can be formed once the pasteurization process is done right so this is how we are going to do the pasteurization uh, by using this stabilized milk and now after the pasteurization what you are going to do? You are going to do the homogenization. So actually what is the technique which you are going to do in the homogenization is nothing but you are going to cool this milk because we have applied high temperature, I mean high heat, right? Because the process which we are going to held here is that, which we have held here is that pasteurization in such a way that the high temperature has been applied. So what is the temperature which you are going to apply in this pasteurization? I have said you 85 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius, right? So in the homogenization, what you are going to do is that you are going to cool that milk to the 42 degrees Celsius. Right? So you are going to decrease the temperature to the 42 degrees Celsius. 
so that process is called as homogenization so first step what you are going to do you are going to take the milk and you are going to stabilize that milk and then the stabilized milk will, will undergo the process of this pasteurization and after pasteurization that pasteurized milk will undergo the process of the homogenization in such a way that the milk will get cooled right and that milk is called as homogenized milk right and now that homogenized milk will be placed in the fermenter tank or as a fermentation tank or as a fermenter which is also called as a bioreactor and now before adding in this homogenized milk into this fermentation tank firstly this fermentation tank should be clean such that it avoids the contamination so contamination is nothing but because we are going to add the uh, you know uh, what, what, what we say is microorganisms right so to avoid the contamination of that microorganisms we are going to clean the fermentation tank with the water and after cleaning this fermentation tank with the water then you are going to add this homogenized milk right and after this adding after this adding of this homogenized milk along with this homogenized milk you are also going to add this starter culture so starter culture consists of nothing but the microorganisms as said you right at the beginning of the video the microorganisms are very required for the production of this yogurt so in this way you are going to add this microorganisms in this step that's something but in the fermentation process you are going to add this microorganisms so what are the microorganisms which are involved i have said you that lactobacillus as well as the streptococcus right and now we are going to add this starter culture into this fermentation tank along with this homogenized milk and now we are going to do the process of fermentation that's nothing but we know that the fermentation tank consists of the blades right and the blades will start rotating that process is called as agitation right and we are going to do the process of agitation once the electricity is supplied and then the fermentation process begins and the fermentation process should be done for 42 degrees celsius and the ph should be maintained with 4.5 right and now it leads to the production of the yogurt it leads to the production of yogurt and now this yogurt will be produced from the fermentation tank normally you are going to uh, take this yogurt by uh, switching on the tap of the outlet of this fermentation tank such that the yogurt will be produced and now you are going to collect that yogurt and now you are going to do the cooling in such a way that that yogurt should get cooled for 7 degrees celsius i mean there will be a presence of refrigerators in the industries and in those refrigerators you are going to cool this yogurt for 7 degrees celsius right and now after cooling you have to remove this yogurt from that uh, from the refrigerators and now you are going to continue to stir it stirring is nothing but the mixing so by doing the process of the mixing you are going to add the flavors i mean there are many type of flavors right like vanilla flavors or else uh, strawberry type of flavors like that you can add some type of flavors during the process of the stirring of this yogurt right and now what you are going to do after stirring continuously by adding of these flavors then it leads to the production of flavored yogurt because it consists of a flavor hence we are going to call that yogurt as a flavored yogurt right and now this flavored yogurt will get filtrated because if there is any dust particles you know mind you dust particles will be present during the process of the fermentation or as during the process of this a production of this yogurt total process right so that minute particles will get released it will get uh, separated out by the process of this filtration and now that filtrated flavored yogurt we will be packed in the cups so before packing them in the cups we are going to take a cup and below that cup you are going to add the fruits i mean at the basement of that cups you are going to add the fruits and after adding these fruits then this yogurt will be placed in that cups right and then it will be supplied into the markets and the human beings will consume this uh, you know this cups which consists of this yogurt right so that yogurt will be gel like thing okay either it is it, we cannot say it is a solid form or as we cannot say it is in a liquid form it is a semi solid we can say it is a semi solid like it is in the form of a gel as if you see in the picture So this is about the production of the yogurt. So if you like this video, you can subscribe my channel, and if you have any doubts regarding this topic, you can comment in the comment box. Thank you.